It's 20 years of ISE this year, and the technology on show is bigger and better than ever. So today, I am asking AV, what is the most influential AV technology of the past 20 years? Now, if I should spot one technology, I will really talk about the, the interactive whiteboard, interactive panels now, because they started like 25 years ago, and they completely changed the way our kids are teached and learned because through the 25 years, nearly all classrooms are equipped with technology. It gave a lot of work for sellers and integrators, and that was the base on which we could add some more technologies like document cameras, audio, now VR, AR, and even robotics. Oh, the past 20 years, that's gotta be VGA. Um, no, joking aside, I think the most uh, changing technology was definitely video over IP for us um, in the healthcare sector specifically but I think also in the whole AV landscape because it touched the home integration, it touched broadcast, it, it opened up a completely new world in digital signage and it really has you know helped transforming things, routing um, in major um, control room displays, video wall technology, everything has been impacted by it, in a sense. Well, I say that I think the most innovative product during the years is Dante. Because, I mean, uh, 10, 15, 20 years ago, everybody had their own protocol. Way back, you had DMX, different protocols, they make it one and it's simple and I mean today everybody is having done it today. So for me I think the remote monitoring and management solutions are a really key part of you know the technology landscape at the moment. And I think there's loads of reasons for that. I think there's value for end users in having that kind of solution from their partners but also I think for the industry you know being able to see technology remotely, being able to intervene remotely and then gather some of that data on you know why that's important and how they can create value. There's opportunity for revenue, there's opportunity to increase profit margins by making sure you've got a really lean operation. I think there's just loads of scope for that. And actually I'm really excited about seeing you know, some of our colleagues in the industry making really exciting use cases around that. Because it's great having the tools, but actually you know, how do you put that into practice? How do you integrate it with your systems? How do you create a real special offering? Um, and I think I'm just really looking forward to seeing how that comes about in the next few years as well. I think it's got to be uh, digitalization, right? So the AV over IP uh, transition, going away from the analog standards uh, over to IP protocols. I mean, it just gives us a whole new world of, uh, of opportunity within the industry from the point of view of uh, being able to scale the services, being able to deliver different types of services, being able to uh, also uh, enter into complementary services such as smart buildings, uh, you've got security, you've got the ability to monitor and manage and deliver more value-added services compared to the, any opportunities we used to have back in the day uh, when it was analog. And also I think it's the natural progression to the next phase which is going to be more over towards software-based solutions, right? So then if we have things on IP and, uh, and rooted networks, then we have the ability also to transition to a more software-based uh, future, which is inevitable and in where we're going to go. Tough question, um, because if you go 20 years back, um, we didn't even have an iPhone or we didn't even have a smartphone at that time. So where to pick from? For, I, I, from my perspective, I think there's a couple of things that pops to mind. Um, for us, in our little company in Denmark, we've seen uh, the acoustic system for Miles Sound being really, really uh, important in both what you're able to do creative in theaters, but also what you've been able to do in uh, universities for enhancing the communication between professors and students uh, with voice lifting uh, the auditorium. That, that mainly has been probably one of the driving factors for what we've been doing in the past at least 10 years. Uh, AV over IP for me. Uh, it's got to be with the way we can now send video, you know, campus wide for universities within corporate companies. It can go anywhere. Um, and, you know, with, with the help of good networking equipment, you know, with, it's, it's AV over IP. It has to be.